All right, what's up, y'all? I'm gonna do this in one take because I kind of got to. I'm under the gun a little bit. Uh, a cavalcade of what words am I using right now? I have a lot of shit I gotta do school wise. Um, but I've been thinking about this. I've been agonizing over this Coachella set list, and uh, I have it set now. As set as it's ever gonna be, because even as I was getting ready for this and like doing the pre-editing, I guess you can call it. Um, I was like, oh wait, I can still. I could switch it a little bit, and I'll tell you what I'm thinking there. I'll just tell you everything. So let's get into it. Music's gonna kick on. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, as you can hear, We Know is number one. And I was... I was really deciding between three songs. Actually, I have my notes. I would post it, but Loki don't think I have time to. Anyway, I might post it on Twitter or something. We know it's a little on the nose to start with an intro song, but then you think about it and it's like, that's why they're intro songs. And truthfully, I don't think they made a better intro song than this. And honestly, this is my biggest conundrum <laughs> immediately after number one, because I was thinking. Wonderland could be the first the intro spot. Loki Bouncy could, even though I don't think I would want it there. I mean, obviously I don't want it there because I didn't put it there. Um, I was thinking maybe Crazy Form or even Hala Hala. I don't know, because like you can take it different directions. I'm really peeking right now. Oh my goodness, sorry. This is basically a live stream for me, and it sucks. I think I don't think it's gonna start like this. I honestly don't even know if we know it's going to be part of it. But my personal Coachella, <laughs> my personal, if I said, hey, ATs, can you make a little performance playlist for me and do all of it and let me sit and watch and laugh and cry and smile, it would be this. That's basically the, the whole impetus for these choices. So I'm not going to switch the music because it's going to sound really jarring. But number two, of Doom. They posted that MFing Instagram clip. I think I mentioned this in the video already. If they don't form Doom, and I'm dead serious, I'm going to have a problem with them. This is the longest I've not I've gone with since without breaking eye contact. And I'm dead serious. They I, if I had more time, I was going to do a bit where, not a bit, my plan was to watch the performances of all the videos and that, have that be like the way I reveal it. And my, I was going to just do me sitting in silence looking at a black screen for three minutes for Dune because I thought that would be really funny, but I don't have the time to do that. Anyway, they haven't fucking performed it. And they're going to. I'm not, I'm a 90 minute drive from Coachella. I will, they'll have to see me. Cause like I had no expectations and then they post that fucking clip and it had me so hyped. <sighs> okay. I thought it was going to get better, but no, I'm even more angry because number three is Halazia. If they don't provide <laughs> it's just a safe speech. It's just a safe speech. I was convinced that they were going to play it because in the concert, because why would you not? And to me, the only reason, the only reason I could think of is because they were preparing something greater. They didn't want to do two different choreographies, even though they have choreo for it already. But it's a song that deserves more than a basic choreography, even though nothing about the choreo is really basic. So that's my cope. Right now, the, okay, the biggest thing that kept me from doing, like, a Wonderland or Bouncy, like, start is because these three songs in a row I fell in love with. I was planning it, and I was like, I need these songs. I love these songs dearly. But I listened to them back to back. And, like, We Know comes after Dune in the album, and Halazi is a completely different, uh, a different, like, comeback. But it just sounds so perfect to me. And the performances would be slash are insane. It just feels so perfect. It's like, it's the best introduction to ATs that I think you can get. If you're like, if you want more than just like the really 
great hits they have, which are definitely going to be in here as well. But like, if you are willing to get grimy with them, this is it. This is it to me. This is the perfect three song opening for the stroke cello. <laughs> Why did I say it so choppy? Okay. And then from there, I think I'm going to let. There's no way this wasn't going to be here. It's probably their most iconic performance still. And it's incredible. And it's amazing. It's going to be amazing again. Because there's no way they're not doing it. If they did the Wonderland, I wouldn't blame them. Only because they've done it so much. But I would be disappointed for me because I love watching it. But also disappointed for new people not watching. Because that's like a eye-opening, holy shit performance. And, I mean... If they do Dune, and if they do Halazia, those two are going to be. Because I remember it was a... Uh, whatever me fan messaging app they have. Um, I figured it was San. One of the members, I think it was San, was like... Or maybe Wu Young. Where it's like, we... Dune and... Uh, uh, there's another song. Dune and I think Django or something was like... Yeah, we... Uh, we... We would need to get back with the kingdom directors or whatever because those songs deserve more than just the normal and it's like it's true but like give it to us still okay so for, okay actually a little information this playlist uh music wise runs up to 45 minutes which gives us five minutes for the ment and any stage setup so i'm cutting it close but i'm i'm squeezing the life out of this speaking of ments and talking they have to do it, so that's why there's a space between four and five, which is Arriba. Uh, this is a perfect Coachella song. This is a perfect festival song. This is a perfect concert song. It's a perfect song, honestly. But for this type of vibe, it's like, okay, I kind of segmented it. Top four is like if they're performing for me only. <laughs> and then five through... Ooh, five until a song that I'm sure you'll recognize is like... Okay, now we're like everyone else has showed up. They did the first four like early for us, and then everyone else comes in. And it's like really fun. Um, this is incredible. I love the song. It's gonna. They have to be doing it because the performance is so fun, and the song is so massive and crazy. And I don't know. It just has to happen. So I'm assuming there's not. They're not not going to talk. They have to talk. That's the whole point. <laughs> like. You have to promote still. You have to be like, hey, this is your new, you haven't met us. This is us. And like, and introduce us, themselves as members. It won't be long because I, I know they, I know they want to perform, but there's going to be something. So that's what I'm putting in there. I'm assuming, well, in mine, they would do it after Wonderland because the way it ends is kind of like really final. So you can kind of just start a new vibe after, which is what they do with Arriba and then Hala Hala and Firework. I'm kind of putting them together. Because in my head, you can take out, you can go from Mingi's second verse in Hala Hala to like the end and get the real essence and get the, get the vibe of Hala Hala. And then you can, I don't want them to cut around any songs, but I feel like they're going to do some kind of mashup. And I don't, I feel like these are two songs that you want to hear in this setting, but if you like do a do like a condensed version of both and you really just it, it's kind of just like a sprint through the hype like Arriba Hala Hala Firework that's like a five minute sp six minute sprint Arriba's like three and a half minutes and then you get three minutes from the other two and then and then you get to Bouncy and this is I can definitely Except criticism. I'm peeking the mic again. I'm sorry. Except contest, contesting opinions about it being placed relatively late in the set. I just feel like this is... You suck them in with intrigue top four here. I don't actually... Yeah, you can't actually see my mouse. I was pointing to the top four. So you got top four. And then the meant... Loki, what does meant stand for? I know that's like talking, no music playing bullshit. I don't, I've never known what it means. The only time I've ever seen it is in K-pop. Anyway. And then you get... So you get the normies intrigued. And you get a screaming and crying. And then they're like... Okay, let, let's... These guys are 
it's kind of crazy, but I wonder what else they could sell. Like, and then you get hit banger after banger after banger after banger, and then you're like, oh shit, and then and then you get to Cyberpunk, and it's like, oh my god, and then, I hope they do the same choreo with San being hella slutty on the chair, and then okay, I gotta pause, and then okay, Cyberpunk deserves its own thing. Sorry, I got hyped thinking about what's coming next. Cyberpunk's incredible. I, on my, I, I segment. Actually, let me read. I'll read my, my notes to you. I segmented the songs into different like categories. They fit like intro songs to me is whether well, Hala Hala, We Know This World, Wonderland. I could have justified all of them starting. Hype but vibey songs, bouncy firework, no remix in all caps, Ariba, The Real, The Ring, Sector One, Django, Say My Name, Fever Medley, No Good Little Boy, I'm sorry, thanks, honestly, a sleeper option. I won't say what did or didn't make the list that you haven't seen already, even though we only have like a couple songs left. Hype but intense, Gorilla, Halazia, Dune, Wake Up, Emergency, and I put Wonderland here as well. That's crazy, almost all of these made the list. <laughs> Can't decide if it's more intense or vibey, but definitely is in the set list. Crazy form. Oops, spoiled it. There's no way it's not going to be on here. And then... <laughs> so it's only that made me laugh. The section is just called Take Me Home slash Cyberpunk slash Silverlight. And then I put Take Me Home, Cyberpunk, Silverlight. One of those songs was going to be there for me, and I believe is going to be there for them. It might end up being Silverlight, just because they had a really cool performance for it too, and it's new. And Will was their biggest selling. The night's kind of in my face. It was their biggest selling album. <laughs> I contributed, haha. -ha. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I would be cool with that. But the reason I chose Cyberpunk, one, is my favorite of those three. But two, because much like in the album, it rolls perfectly into Gorilla. Gorilla is another one where it's like, I think it got confirmed. People were doing sleuthing in that Dune video, and they saw Hong Joon, um, like, mouthing the rap to it, and they, like, aligned the song, and everyone's like, oh, girl, it's confirmed, and uh, trust me, I appreciate the hype, but in my mind, there was no way on this earth that they were not gonna play it, um, and of course, they're going to play it, and it's gonna be incredible. It can't be too early to me, and it can't be too late, because it's too, maybe this is just my bias showing, for my intense love of this song, but it it really feels like it's one of, if not the favorite song to perform of the boys. And cause like it just, it shows like the emotion and how into it they get. And it, I don't know. So that being said, I, you can't start early with it. I mean, you can't, not because the, it wouldn't hit, but because you can, it's like such a specific sound i think my audio has been peaking a lot i'm so sorry like you cannot squander the opportunity and honestly arguable that i did it's pretty late i only have three songs after this great songs that i think build on the vibe but the only thing is i wanted this hit run of like straight ass throwing songs of Ariba, Hala Hala, Firework, Bouncy, and Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk low-key, different type, but it's still the same. And then we get Cyberpunk into Gorilla, because on the album it transitions into the song, and it kind of, like, resets the vibe type beat. But then, it kind of resets this vibe from ass-throwing to break the wall going crazy, because I have Wake Up after Gorilla. And truthfully, I don't, I think this is the most questionable transition I have. Because I, I really tried to think of how the bits of the music flow together as well, not just like vibe connecting. That's why I liked We Know into Dune so much, because We Know to me, or Dune and Emergency are the, not the same song in the pejorative sense. It's like, oh, they just made the same song, obviously. But, like, they're so perfect in that role where they play off a really trippy, like, mood-altering intro song 
into some crazy sounding shit at the second like the second song of the album and they play the same role but dune to me is just is it's probably the I say this about a lot of songs, and I probably say it again about a different song. But like, objectively, Dune might be the best song they've ever made, and it's definitely worst top five, top three probably for me. Um, so it's like, I don't know, it just fits. And then Dune to Halazia just fits, and then Halazia to Wonderland, it doesn't super fit. But because Wonderland has the, I mean, the symphony remix version of it. It has a really long intro that's just drawn out, and it lets them get into position and do the changes and stuff, and it like it's like a f finality to it, like I mentioned before. So yeah, that was my vibe there. Arriba Halhala, Firework Bouncy, Slap, so hate the playing to each other regardless. I don't, I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna need another break somewhere in the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 run. If I had to choose, I'd probably say after Bouncy. But then that kind of feels like it'd be a waste of the, a waste of the excitement. So I don't know. I don't know when they would do it. May, or you know what? I think maybe they don't take a like specific rest, because for Arriba you have the performance, but then Hala Hala and Firework you can kind of like do crowd work and hype each other up. You don't have to do like a massive choreo thing. And then maybe that's like allows them to catch their breath for Bouncy Cyberpunk Gorilla wake up, and then. Outlaw. Oh wait, no, I called it Outlaw. It's Django. I wanted Django in the first place. This is where I was... This is my biggest question. I put Outlaw because I was considering Outlaw. Also, it's hilarious that there's basically the entire Outlaw album. God damn, it's so good. Also, you could definitely see where my AT's preferences lie. I want straight ass shaking slaps or just like psychotic, I've never heard this before, intensity. And sometimes both. <laughs> um, but yeah, Django I went with because I was... Originally I had Crazy Form somewhere in the 1 through 7 range. I was even considering starting with it. That was actually a really big consideration. And I would not be surprised if that's what happens. But, okay, I you know what? I'm not going to act like I didn't choose it. I have Crazy Form going last. If I had Crazy, go crazy Form first, I would have chosen Outlaw. Because I the last song needs to feel final in some way honestly i heard it, it did it did influence me a little bit unfortunately i would like to be uh, uh an uninfluenced man that comes up with his own conclusions that everyone thinks is cool but desire would really work here i know they posted that clip and Unfortunately, it works. Not unfo I love the song. Not unfortunately because of the song, but I wish I would have come to that conclusion on my own so I could be like, oh, you guys never thought of this one, though. But they already thought of it, of course. So. Uh, but anyway, Desire works because the end of the song feels like... I don't know. I talk about this in the, like, the album listens and stuff, and it just it has to feel final. That's why I actually... <laughs> was really worried about Outlaw the song the first time I listened to the album before the like beat switch because it felt like it was continuing an escalation of like the story or the sound through the song the album and I was like no this is the last song ready I needed to end there's no cliffhangers in music I can't have a music cliffhanger and that's what in spite of how massive and crazy and awesome crazy form sounds I truly think that it would be, it just, it feels like it finishes something. And I know, it like, it's it's the song that ends the, assuming it ends the world era. And it just feels like it does, if that makes sense. I don't know, because it's so massive, the eh, oh, wait, like, it's, it's a lot, but I don't know, it just feels like it's leading to an end of something. And the, ending is so abrupt i don't know it just it just feels like a fun an ending song to me so yeah i'm comfortable there low-key i either think crazy form is going to be last or first very well could be first um if i had to guess i don't even think halazi is going to be played <laughs> and it kills me but okay i think okay 
So this is mine. This is my this is my list. Before I end it, I'm gonna try to guess which songs. I, I don't won't be able to get the order, but of these 13 songs, how many did I get right? I'm gonna go ahead and one million percent say Crazy Form, Bouncy, Cyber. I was gonna say Gorilla, Wonderland. Honestly, I'm saying Hala Hala. That's gonna be a. That's their song. It's again. It's gonna be there. So that's five. I'm I'm personally locking. That okay. That's five. I can guarantee. That's that's what I put my stamp on. And then Arriba is gonna happen. I think. Wake up's gonna happen. I think. Firework feels like it's gonna happen. <sighs> Should I cope? Should I do hopium and say Dune? I don't know. So out of thirteen, I have eight that I feel comfort comfortable confident about. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll say another Outlaw B-side is going to happen. Either Outlaw, Django, or Dune. I know I'm putting my eggs in a lot of basket. Or honestly, maybe this world, but I don't think so. Um, I'll say Dune. I'm saying Dune. Fuck it. Dune has to happen. It has to. And then that's where it ends. Uh, that's basically everything, I guess. Uh, we know I'm not super confident about, if I'm being honest. I would love it, but it would require kind of the entry spot. And I think they might want to just, like, punch us in the mouth with some shit and not, like, do a mysterious, weird, synthy type thing <laughs> that I love and all of us love. But, you know, they got some locals. They got a lot of locals that are going to be there. And, yeah, got to put on a show for them, I guess. Uh, and I have no doubt that they will. So, yeah, um, sign off. No transitions really awkward honestly um oh thank god it didn't stop stream still one million percent happening today when i post this it'll be friday so absolutely 10 p.m pacific time we're gonna, I'm gonna do a lead up we're gonna have a nice little vibe we're gonna have a freak out sesh maybe watch a couple of the other coachella streams if we're interested probably not um and then 10 45 we are fucking locked in we are it's gonna be crazy um, yeah, the streams have been super fun. I, it's just fun. I love talking to y'all. Uh, I love being real goofy goober. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say. I'm going to go stick my head back in some books and then on the computer and then in some books and then on the computer and then write like five lesson plans and then it'll be, I'll be free <laughs> and then Friday will come and I will be free. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be with me. God damn it, no edits. Okay, I'll be back very soon. Bye bye.